Bam, baby. I'm back. So where do we leave off with this sharky? Mr. Sharky, I'm just a little fishy. I'm a little fishy. I'm not a sharky. I'm a fishy. I'm Nemo. Okay, so uh, I'm going to add joints here on the fin. So up here and then maybe this one. And probably this one. And I'll leave the head for the next tutorial. So next thing I want to show you is how to adjust joints. So a lot of you guys will probably grab some of this stuff. And like I told you, you can probably move some of these like this that's that's okay if you just want to move it like this and you know maybe stretch it out a little bit if you had to adjust it um usually i think that's fine if i show you the orientation so select hierarchy go to that that script show axis you want to make sure that you're always looking at your axis here right make sure X is always pointing at the other joint so if I grab this joint watch this other one here the orientation if I move it up watch it update when I release boom you see how that X is still pointing up at this you want to make sure that that's happening but look at how this moves everything right let's say you just wanted to move the joint by itself like you just wanted to grab this little sphere right there and move it up without affecting all the rest of the joints so in order to do that you can select the joint and holding or no, you can press insert I believe in a uh, on a Mac you press the home key all right if that doesn't work there's a, a shortcut key for that is you hold down D make sure you have the move tool W and then you hold down D and watch what's gonna happen I'm gonna do this on the side view I'm gonna hold down D D as in David yeah that's my name check it out you can move just that joint you can adjust it but watch this I'm gonna give you a little example here by doing D or doing the insert pivot by doing insert you can do it that way too. insert uh, notice that we just move that little joint there without affecting the rest of the joints but if you look at this joint over here look at the axis the the uh, joint orientation is still looking at where that other joint used to be you see that the X here that little line is still pointing this way so that's wrong and then look at this joint down here X supposed to be pointing at the next joint so it should be going up this way but it's not so if you want to adjust things with the insert key you can definitely adjust it but make sure you use the script to realign everything again so I, I would select everything and then do the orient joints so X aim axis Y and Y orient joints and now look what happened here you can see that this joint now it's pointing at this joint and this joint you see that little X is pointing up back at this joint so that's very important you want to keep that in mind if you want to adjust your joints so holding down get your move tool hold down D as in David yeah. and then you can adjust it and then just do a orient joint on that one do an orient joint on this one and then now you can move your your joints like that all right so that's very useful I'm gonna undo all of this all right so that's how you can adjust joints if you had to okay um, now what if you want to add joints now let's say I want to grab this one let's say I, I didn't want that joint there uh, before I get into adding joints let's just let's do delete first so let's say I wanted to uh, I wanted to just get rid of that joint right there you might be thinking okay just press delete look at what happened it broke your rig right so you don't want to do that undo you go to skeleton and then down here you'll see remove joint so when you do that notice that we got rid of that joint that used to be here and it and this joint automatically connected back to this one so that's a very useful 
a little tool here to remove joints all right so let me undo that well actually now let me show you now how to add joints so if you want to add a joint uh, I believe you select the joint let me try it without selecting you go to skeleton you'll see down here insert joint tool click on it and then you'll your cursor will, will it's going to turn into like this little cross and then just click you see that we got that new joint popped out of this other joint over here just click and drag where you want it and then now you have a new joint there so it doesn't matter uh, where you want the joint just go to skeleton insert joint click on the joint where you want it and then you can drag one out and it should still keep the same orientation so show axis you can see Y is still up X still point to the next joint so that is how you add and remove joints and adjust joints alright so that's very important uh, so let's move on I'm gonna add the fin joint right now up here so to add joints uh, make sure you remember in my other video tutorials you go to my tutorials here on this little button here so go to animationmethods.com and then you go to my tutorials and if you scroll down here you'll see this says parenting joints so you click on this little icon here and you're gonna get this video that's gonna show you how to parent joints which is what we're gonna do right now so on my side viewport just create another joint about here sort of in the middle one right here about in the middle and then one right at the tip and then you might be thinking okay so if I select the root well, the root is over here let me hide the orientations so I might you might be like okay all I have to do is grab the root and then move the shark and then you see this one is not moving so when you're creating a rig you always have to connect all of your joints back to the main uh, rig here that we're working with so to do that you just select the child so this one the root is always going to be the parent right this is the main the main skeleton uh, system that we have set up so this is going to be what we call the child or the follower select the actually I'm not going to connect it to the root you can connect it to anywhere within that same hierarchy or what they call the the bone chain so this is a main bone chain I can actually connect the fin to that one so I'm gonna go child parent so I want to connect it here and then press P and then automatically we're gonna get a new joint right in between those right so what this means now is when I select the root it will automatically connect back to the fin so now when I move this the entire shark will move so I can actually start animating the shark right so that is how you can create joints separately and then connect it back to the main shark so again I'm gonna show you for the tail so for the tail I want you know maybe I want to move it from here and then another one in between here same thing down here and then one over here so it's gonna look like this this one right now maybe in the middle somewhere here one right here and then one right at the tip now remember we still have to check the orientation so it's actually a good idea to check it now show axis I can just do a, a X Y Y orient joints there we go and double check this one uh, select hierarchy show axis uh, the tip one you can see that Y is up this way and Y is a little bit wrong so orient joints there we go and then hide joints orientation select hierarchy hide and then again just select the root of this little uh, joint chain and then shift select the parent in this case when I move the tail I want 
these tail bones to move with it so that's why I'm, I'm connecting connecting it here I don't want to connect it to the root I mean I'm sorry to the tip bone because remember the tip bone doesn't have anything in front of it or it's not pointing to anything so child parent P again I want to do the same thing for the bottom fin go to that create joint tool somewhere here here about there and right here hit enter uh, I want to select the root select hierarchy show axis and orient joint and then again select the the first joint let me hide axis select the root joint of this of these two bones select the fin press P alright so now you can see everything in the tail is connected to this one joint right here so that is uh, the parent of these other joints here so when I go to the perspective when I come back here and I start animating the tail all of that is going to move with it if I select this one everything in front of it which is this way the way it's pointing at the next joint right so it's going big to small so it's pointing at at the, the way it's forward which is this way so again that will move everything and as, as I start selecting all of these joints so one by one select that this and this and then I start rotating we're gonna get that nice fluid motion on the entire shark alright so again make sure your rotations are set to zero you don't want to have anything in your rotations I think I already explained that translation is okay but never keep anything under never have any numbers here under rotation alright so that is how you can create separate joints uh, for the fins alright so I'm gonna leave it there and then we're gonna continue on the next video adding the joints for this fin now this fin can be a little bit tricky because we're not gonna add joints that are flat right now we've been adding joints that are pretty much in, in a flat plane right everything is flat but these are at a 45 degree angle and then we're gonna add on the next video the head joint and then one for the jaws the jaws oh that's actually the term for the shark it's a jaws movie it's a movie of a jaws shark ah shark jaws sharknado it's raining sharks it's raining sharks so then you know so if you guys want to check out some of the videos check out animation methods you guys are welcome to check out my rigging book where I'm gonna show you how to rig a character uh, sort of the professional way uh, I still go over some of the things that we're covering in the shark video so if you guys are interested on how not to make rookie mistakes a lot of beginners make those mistakes of oh, I just want to rig it and then I start animating but they forget some of the important techniques check out animation methods on rigging made easy alright so scripts are right here so I have this joint orient script I have the video here that will show you how to install it and use it other than that I will catch you later